our next presentation focuses on data. Data is said to be the new gold. So let's see what's in the treasure box of Achim Pelz, who is the CEO of Motion Control at Siemens Digital Industries. Achim, from data to action is the title of your presentation. But it's not only about data, I suppose. It's also edge what you're talking. Siemens has been involved with edge technology for quite some time now. What new topics do you want to address at this time? Yeah, f firstly, uh, I would like to say motion control made already quite, quite a head start with edge technology already two years ago. We, we started with uh, Cinumeric Edge uh, actually in 2018. And now the next consequent uh, step is uh, actually to gather all the experience, all the technologies and everything, uh, the experience we have made actually and to adapt this also to production machines. Since motion control is not only dealing with uh, CNC controller, but also with motors and drives, actually we are saying the most important and the most valuable data of a machine are coming out of the drivetrain, coming from the motor and uh, uh, from the inverters. And therefore, we are going the next consequent step and applying all the technologies uh, we are gathered so far into the production machines. Enhancing the functionality of both machine tools and production machines and then integrating drives at the same time sounds like a real challenge. Yes, but uh, challenge accepted, uh, I would say, because we are quite confident that uh, with the experience we have uh, made, we, we are going now in, in, in two different directions. The first direction is continuously enhancement of uh, the numeric edge as an application for machine tools. And secondly, integrating the entire drivetrain uh, into industrial edge in, in order to provide benefits for production machines. Okay, I understand the solution that you're offering, but who are your target groups, Achim, and who is going to benefit from all of this? Yeah, when, when applying digitalization, when addressing digitalization to the market, we, we are actually addressing always uh, both target groups, which are the machine builders outside and the machine users. And uh, we are firmly believe that uh, both user groups are benefiting uh, very much uh, from an industrial edge application. This is valid for machine tool application and um, if you are using industrial edge into machine tools in automotive industry or aerospace industry or in other industries uh, uh, in machine tool application, but this is also valid for other production machines when talking about, uh, for example, for press machinery, which you will find also in automotive industry. But the application of industrial edge can be also very much in, 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 in different uh, uh, industries. And uh, one example would be, for example, baggage handling systems, which are usually installed in, in big airports uh, to, to unload airplane uh, after they, they have arrived. And all kind of this application, uh, from machine tool application to production machines and also to infrastructure application, will definitely benefit when applying in industrial edge. I, I, I give you two examples. For, for example, the user. For the user, he get uh, immediately information about the utilization of machine or the availability. This is very different when we are talking about the machine builder. The machine builder can suddenly offer additional functionality with the machine, which is condition monitoring, for example, or if the machine is attached in a cloud environment, uh, can even offer remote services. I will give you two examples in, in this regard. I would like to, to start with a machine tool application. Imagine a machine tool is working at the end user and has to produce serial work pieces. Yeah, and in a normal situation, at, at one time, you have to stop the machines, you have to take the workpiece out, you have to do a random test of this workpiece, and then you continue, actually, the production. You can imagine that 
with the interruption of this manufacturing process, you are losing time. Now, applying the cinematic edge, it is possible to run the whole process through and have a continuously uh, check of the quality during the operation. And, and, and this results in a shorter uh, time of machine working as well as productivity. A second example I would like to give you in, with this example with this uh, conveyor belts. You can imagine how important it is that this conveyor belt is running when an airplane is arriving and the baggage has to be transported to the passenger. And what you can do actually with Analyze My Drive Edge is you have a continuously monitoring of the health status of this conveyor belt and you can avoid uh, sudden shutdowns of uh, this and you can save money because you can ensure the availability of the device in operation. You refer to new features. What are these exactly? Yeah, first, first I would like to mention uh, regarding the numeric edge new function, which is uh, actually a further step in regards of connectivity. It is now possible to connect also third-party controllers into our uh, ecosystem of uh, the numeric edge. Second issue related uh, to the numeric is uh, the uh, analyze my machine condition, uh, which allows to make a test of a machine uh, even faster. And this is based actually of our competence in regards of uh, mechatronics. Talking about uh, the drivetrain, uh, we made big steps. Uh, it's now possible to, to collect 8 kilohertz sample rates uh, from, from the drives, talking about the Nemix uh, S120. And with this, it is possible to utilize not only the drive, but the entire drivetrain as a virtual sensor in the machine. We are always talking about the journey of digitalization. So where will the journey at motion control take us? Yeah, our journey is already a couple of years old and it, uh, it won't stop. Uh, we will definitely uh, it, develop further and further. And I would like uh, to, to mention the two, two new things which will coming up soon. First, the updated function for machine users, uh, which uh, is uh, very much helpful even to have a more compelling uh, composition of functions when using uh, the numeric edge. And on the other hand, uh, also analyze my drive edge when talking about the drivetrain. We'll have an update in, in December, and which will then even include more drives into the, in the, into the industrial edge uh, uh, ecosystem. And finally, I would say also in 21, the journey will not stop. Our target is also to uh, involve then also the remaining drives in industrial edge, uh, and then we will be quite complete. Sounds like a great plan. Achim, many thanks to you for telling us what's happening in motion control. And ladies and gentlemen, if you're interested to see what's happening in the Drive Systems cluster here in our virtual showroom, don't miss the chance to stroll around in that area.